Today I'm going to give you six tips you can implement in just 30 minutes to boost your Google listing visibility so you can rank higher on Google Maps and Google search results almost overnight and attract more customers. I know time is precious, so let's start with the first tip. I've mentioned this time and time again in many of my previous videos. The primary business category you choose for your listing is by far the most influential ranking factor according to the 2021 Local Ranking Factors Survey. So it's important you choose it carefully. Although choosing a business category may seem like a straightforward exercise, it can be very deceiving. For example, which primary category would you choose for this lawyer based on the list of categories available on Google? What about if you were a dentist? Surely dentist would be an obvious choice, right? But what about dental clinic or cosmetic dentist? The answer is actually quite simple. Choose the category you want your listing to rank for. So if you're a lawyer and provide multiple areas of expertise, but would prefer to be found for divorce lawyer, then choose divorce lawyer instead of the more generic category lawyer. If you're a dentist and want to capitalize on cosmetic dentistry because it generates more revenue for your business as opposed to generic dentistry, then choose cosmetic dentist. Before you make a decision, I suggest you head over to plepper.com. You can find the link in the description below. Click on tools and from the drop down menu, select the Google business profile categories full list option. Scroll down, then select the country in which your business is located, then click on Fetch Google Business Profile Categories. Search for what you think is the most relevant category to your business and click on it. Plepper will show you all the categories that are closely related to your choice. Pick the one you want your listing to be found for or simply stick to the one you initially chose if you think it's a better option. Once you've made a decision, log into the Google account associated with your business profile, then search for My Business. You should see your listing listed in the search results. Click on View Profile. From the list of icons, click on Edit Profile and from the pop-up window, click on Edit Category. Update your primary category if applicable. There is a strong correlation between where your Google Business Profile listing ranks for the keywords you are targeting and the content of the web page it links to, also known as the landing page. Therefore, it's important you include the keywords you are trying to rank for in the most important elements of your landing page, the page title and the header. Let's have a look at an example. If I search for window cleaning in Colorado Springs and click on the website link of the first result that comes up, you can see that the page title includes the keyword window cleaning Colorado Springs. It is also part of the main header. This strategy will help this business listing rank high in Google local search results for the keyword window cleaning Colorado Springs. If your page title and main header don't include the keywords you are targeting, log into the content management system of your website. Locate the page title component. This will vary depending on the content management system you actually use. In this example, I'm using Wix. Change the title so it includes your targeted keywords. Let's say I'm a dentist located in Dallas trying to rank for the keyword Cosmetic Dentist Dallas. Let's go for 5 star rated Cosmetic Dentist in Dallas. Make sure it doesn't exceed 60 characters, otherwise it will be truncated in Google search results. Then do the same with your main header, also known as H1. Let's go for award-winning cosmetic dentist in Dallas. Remember to publish your changes once you're done. We're back to categories. For those of you who didn't know, you can add secondary categories to your listing as well as primary ones. Secondary categories also influence where your listing ranks on Google and stand at number four on the list of most influential ranking factors. Unlike your primary category, which is displayed on your listing, secondary categories are not visible to the public. However, they will help your Google business listings be found for additional keywords related to the services or products you have to offer outside of your primary category. Choosing secondary categories is easy. Head over to plepper.com and check which categories are the closest matched to the primary category you've chosen. If you offer services that align with some of these, then you should add them to your listing. 
Let's say you've decided to go for divorce lawyer as a primary category, but you also do personal injury. You can add this as a secondary category to your listing. Alternatively, you can spy on your competitors to find out which secondary categories they have added to their listings using a free Chrome extension called GMB Everywhere. You can find the link in the description below. Once you've installed the extension, head over to Google Maps and search for a keyword you'd like to rank for. GMB Everywhere will highlight all the categories associated with each business. The primary one will be highlighted with a star icon. All other categories are secondary ones. Make a note of them and add them to your listing if you feel they are relevant. You can add up to nine secondary categories. Adding secondary categories to your listing is done exactly in the same way as modifying your primary category, which I've already covered. Until only a few months back, having keywords in your business name used to be one of the most impactful ranking factors there was. Just by adding keywords to your name, your listing could be number one in Google Maps in no time. If you don't believe me, check out this video where I tried this strategy out and got a listing to hit the top spot just by adding keywords to the name in just a couple of days. That's why it's still very common to see listings like these ones. Although this practice goes against Google's guidelines, which specify that your name should reflect your business's real world name, which in this example is clearly not the case, these businesses very rarely got punished. To fight back against this rampant strategy considered as spam and discourage businesses from adding keywords to their names, Google recently updated their algorithm which diminished the influence keywords in business names have on rankings. But having said that, Google only diminished the ranking influence, meaning it still works and you should use it to your advantage. I don't suggest you add tons of keywords to your business name like in the example I've already shown, but at least add keywords whenever applicable. Look at the example of this lawyer located in Tucson. They are using the business name Mesh Clark Rothschild on their Google listing, but when I check their office, I can see their outside signage includes the keyword attorneys. And if I go on their website, it also says attorneys as part of their branding. This is clearly how they represent themselves in the real world and they really should add the keyword attorneys to their business name. It will totally abide by Google's guidelines and would also help them rank for anyone searching for attorneys in Tucson. So whenever you can, make sure you include these precious keywords in your name, like in this example, as it will inarguably boost your rankings. To add keywords to your business name, click on the edit profile option from your listing interface and from the pop-up window, click on the pencil icon next to your business name. Back to primary category again. Since it plays such a huge part in where your Google listing ranks, you should consider changing it if you run seasonal activities. Here is a typical example of a cleaning company based in Toronto that offers multiple cleaning services with a greater focus on windows and eaves cleaning based on the title of their homepage. But they also offer a snow removal service. If I go to Google Trends and search for how popular the keyword snow removal has been in Canada in the last 12 months, I can see the trend increases around September and October time and continues climbing until a massive peak in January. This makes a lot of sense as it will be the middle of the winter in Toronto when most of the snow will be falling. Let's do the same search but this time look at window cleaning. You can clearly see that the demand for window cleaning starts picking up right after the winter with a peak in May, which once again is logical. This is almost an inverted trend to the snow removal keyword. To capitalize on this, this business should set its primary category as window cleaning service in the summer and snow removal service in the winter, so they can rank higher for the relevant keywords when demand is high. But that's not all. Remember how important the content of the landing page your listing links to is. When switching categories, you should also consider switching the page you link your listing to so it's in line with your primary category. In this example, if this business changes from 
window cleaning service in the summer months to snow removal service in the winter, I would also strongly recommend they link their listing to their snow removal page. It will make a huge difference both to their rankings and also contribute to a better customer experience since anyone clicking on the link will land on a relevant page without having to dig around the site to find what they are looking for. You already know how to update categories, but if you need to change your website link, click on the edit profile icon and from the pop-up window, click on the contact menu link. Your website link can be edited right there. If you don't know what attributes are, they can be described as additional features your business provides. For example, free Wi-Fi, takeaway food, in-store pickup, and more. Google uses attributes to show the most relevant businesses in search results based on specific keywords which can be related to those attributes. Let's say I'm looking for a takeaway restaurant near me. You can see that all the businesses listed in the results include the attribute takeaway. But if I search for restaurant near me, the results are completely different. Including attributes in your listing is a way to optimize your visibility and rank for more keywords. The attributes you can add to your listing will depend on your business type. To find out which attributes you can add to yours, click on the edit profile option. From the pop-up menu, click on more from the navigational bar. This will show you the various categories of attributes you can add to your listing. Select the ones you feel are applicable. That's it for today guys, remember to like the video and until next time, happy marketing!